Hello everyone, Amanda Ray coming back to you with another quick video. And today what we're going to do is discuss how to financially prepare for your business. And the reason why this is so important is because you want to make sure that you have enough money to leave your full-time job. But not only that, you want to make sure that you have enough money to do the right things that you need to do when you decide to go ahead and branch off on your own. So this is one of the things that I did. It, it took me about six months to start actually preparing to leave my full-time job. And what I did that is really important was get rid of all of the stuff that I felt was unnecessary. As an example, Dunkin' Donuts. That's one of my weaknesses. I love Dunkin' Donuts. And when you really think about it, how much you spend per day, you know, just going to Dunkin' Donuts, whether you're getting coffee or donuts, that starts to add up. So really taking away all of the things that you don't need, at least for the first three to six months is really important because what that's going to do is free up a lot of money to do the things that you really need to do. And think about it like this. You're doing this for a short period of time for long term goals. So I know it may seem like, you know, I'm doing this and, you know, is it really worth it? It is in the long haul and it may feel like, dang, I'm so used to getting my coffee. I'm so used to getting my donuts or whatever it is. I'm so used to going to the movies or going out to eat. But when you really look at it, just freeing up the funds that you're going to need by not going out to dinner, not going to the movies, not buying that coffee, it's really going to help speed up the process on you seeing results within your business. So it can be challenging in the beginning, but after two to three weeks, you will get used to it. But not only that, just seeing the extra money in your account is going to really help you, okay? And not only that, you're gonna feel more confident about what you're about to do. You're gonna feel um, extremely excited about being able to save this money. So again, for the first three to six months, just try to get rid of all of the unnecessary expenses that you know you've been purchasing you know stuff that you've been buying whether it's going to the movies or buying that coffee or buying those donuts going out to eat at restaurants that's the first thing that you want to do the second thing that you want to do is really have a blueprint on the things that you're going to need so there's going to be certain things that you're going to need to have for your business depending on what niche or business you're getting into, you want to go on Google, go on, on online and look up the things that you're going to need for that particular business. Try to use as many things for free that you can to minimize your costs. So that basically means finding out what apps you can use that are inexpensive or free for your business. That's going to help you to grow your business. And depending on what type of opportunity you want to get into, you're going to need certain things. So if you, as an example, if you are going to, let's say you're going to go into art and design or you want to do something, you're an artist, okay? You want to go in and you want to look up different artists and what type of apps that they may use that you can use that may be inexpensive, okay? Download those apps to your phone or to your computer and you want to use those apps. Start with as much free stuff as possible, okay? Another really important thing that I did that really helped me to grow my business was using Craigslist, okay? So that's another thing. Marketing can be very expensive. And a lot of people don't have a marketing budget or can't really afford to do marketing on a larger scale. So what you want to do is you want to utilize free, okay? And Craigslist was one of the places where I went that really helped me tap into finding an audience, okay? An audience is basically just people who are interested in what it is that you do. Um, you can go on Craigslist and pay really little to nothing to have your information about your business live where people can see what it is that you do and they can reach out to you if they're interested in what you have to offer. Okay, so Craigslist is really good. Another place that you want to go to that can help you is Facebook. Okay, now Facebook, you can go in and you can do a business page and set up a business page, which would be free to you. Or you can set up a personal page, okay? If you don't have, I um, mean, not that tech savvy, you really don't want to get into the business page of Facebook, you can set up a free personal Facebook page. And there you can have information about your opportunity, okay? And that can be just maybe pictures of what it is that you do with a link, okay, that people can go to. And for a personal page, you can have up to 5,000 friends. 
So you can invite 5,000 people to take a look at your information and get people to actually start buying from you through your Facebook page. Or you can do a business page where you can get thousands of friends and have people actually start taking a look at your information there as well. Okay. And that's what I did. A lot of free stuff in the beginning. You just don't want to go and start dumping a lot of money into marketing and into traffic and really don't know what you're doing or how to spend that money. Okay. You want to put the bulk of your money into the things that really matter, which is having a professional website, taking some professional pictures, getting the tools or products that you're going to need to make sure that your business is successful. Okay. And, um, I'm just telling you this based off of past experience on the things that I've done and the things that I will not do again. Okay. When I first jumped into business, I was looking for that get rich quick and I just wanted to make money. And it's really not all about that. It's really about branding yourself, showing people who you really are, making a connection with a person and then ultimately having them want to buy from you. Okay. And this, these steps happen with time. Okay. It doesn't happen overnight. It's going to happen with time. But if you are one of those people, you're at a nine to five, I was at a nine to five. I had a hard time just thinking about being at a nine to five for the next 40 to 50 years. Okay. A lot of people is there and they want a way out. You can start out basically by taking some small steps, some small action steps that will lead you to leaving your job. And that's what I focused on a little bit at a time and knowing that it's not going to happen overnight, but you have to actively work on taking, tweaking some small things within your life. Like maybe on Fridays, you don't have steak. Maybe you don't eat chicken. Maybe you have to do tuna. I mean, these are just some of the drastic changes that some people have made because they wanted to become entrepreneurs. They want it to have more and make more money. And sometimes you have to sacrifice. And those are the sacrifices that we have to make eating oodles and noodles. Okay. I don't know how many people I love oodles and noodles. Some people they don't like it, but that's a sacrifice that some people are willing to make just to have that additional money to get the things that you need to start your business. If you have more time and you have energy after your job, picking up a second job. Okay. Um, and that can be something as easy as Uber, Lyft. Okay. I used to do secret shops. That was big for me. When I left my job at night, I did secret shops and secret shops helped me to bring in an additional 1500 to $3,000 a month. Okay. And that's how I was able to also start and fund my business. So picking up something that's not going to take a whole lot of brain cells to do, but it's going to definitely put some additional money in your pocket. Okay. So you can find a little job where you work extra additional three hours or five hours a day. That's going to help you get the money that you need to get your business off the ground. And like I said, guys, this is a sacrifice and it's really short term, short term things that you need to do in order to see that long term success. So like I was saying, if you have to do it for six months, where you have to pick up another job. You're only doing it for six months, but then you're having, it's going to help you to have a business that's for a lifetime, a business that's for the next five to 10 years. So being able to sacrifice for six months is worth it. And you know, you're going to have some sleepless nights. You're going to have some hard nights where you're just exhausted and tired, but it's well worth it. And then again, as I had stated in videos before this planning, everything, everything has to be a plan. You have to have a blueprint. And you have to have everything mapped out. I don't care if that's just sticking something in the back of your closet that you look at every day when you go to grab your clothes that basically keeps you on track on what you need to do for the day. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a little blueprint that I'm going to give out for free that basically shows you some of the things that I worked on to leave that nine to five and actually be able to work from home because that was the main goal for me is not having to punch a clock and just being able to be consistent with that. Okay. So again, it is sacrifice in, in the beginning, the first, I believe anything that you do for at least two to three weeks, it becomes easier, especially after the first two weeks, the first two weeks is the hardest for anything. Like I stopped eating meat. My first week and a half was really hard. Um, just going to the gym. The first two weeks was really hard. So I noticed that with a lot of things, when you're making some type of 
breaking a habit, okay, it's going to be hard for the first couple of weeks. You have to get over that hump. And once you get over that hump, you're going to be able to be like, okay, you know what? I could do this. This this actually feels good. And you'll feel more confident once you get past those two weeks, okay? So again, this is just preparing you financially so that you can have success in the things that you're going to need to do in order to get there and to be successful. Even at your job, do they have overtime? Maybe you like what you do and you need additional income. And maybe you want to stay where you're at and just have more money where you're at to build your entrepreneurship, okay? So as an example, stay at your job and see if they have overtime. Do they have more hours that they can give you so you don't even go have to go out and get another job? You know, is there something you can do right where you're at currently to bring in that additional income for your dream business or your dream, you know, whatever it is that you wanna do, okay? And again, I always tell people don't reinvent the wheel. When it comes to your ideas, nothing's wrong with that. But if you go into Google and you go onto YouTube, I can almost guarantee you that there is someone that's doing something very similar to what it is that you want to do. All you want to do is take what you see and craft it to be your own. So as an example, okay, if you see someone that's online, that's maybe they cook from their kitchen and they have a YouTube channel with cooking, okay? Get some ideas, add your charisma, add your characteristics, your personality to what you see and make it your own. But then you could get the ideas from that channel or from that person and it helps you to kind of be able to get your mind working, okay? Get your brain working and then get and then start to become creative from what you see. So it's just not coming out of thin air, okay? A lot of people have a hard time creating their own and nothing's wrong with getting ideas from something you already see. I tell my boyfriend this all the time. He's like, you know, be creative, be yourself. And nothing's wrong with that. You want to be yourself. You want to be creative. But also there's nothing wrong with going online and getting ideas for what it is that you want to do. Okay. Ideas got to come from somewhere. And sometimes it's not always from your own brain. It's not always from what's going on in the inside. Cause we have so many things to think about on a daily basis. It's hard to be creative all the time. So there's nothing wrong with tapping into what you already see, adding your charisma, adding your characteristics, your personality to it, and then implementing that to do what it is that you want to do. Okay. You got to start somewhere. And the main thing is, is getting started. Okay. Don't hold off and wait till next week. Don't wait till next month. Or oh, I'll do it when I get my hair done. Or oh, I can't do it right now because you know, you can have every excuse in a book. But it's all about getting started now because the quicker you get started, the more you'll be able to embrace what's going on and then you'll be able to feel accomplished. You know, you, you don't want to just keep putting things off. You want to do a little bit every day, learn what doesn't work, okay? Fix what doesn't work and just keep going. And that's how you're going to start molding yourself and branding yourself and really putting yourself out there as an entrepreneur. And then you'll have clients or members or, you know, people that follow you. You'll start understanding what works and what doesn't and being able to shift things around, you know, learn from your mistakes or whatever it is. But you have to get started. You have to have a game plan. And you have to make some financial sacrifices in order to have success. Okay. Financial set is going to come. Okay. And most of us, a lot of us, we have a budget. We have certain things that we have to put into certain bills every single month. Nothing's wrong with that, but free up your finances, free up your money, the things that you don't need, free up that money to do the things that you want to do so that you can have the financial freedom that you you're looking for six months, a year, two years, three years from now. And that's basically how it all starts. That's how it all began for me. So I'm just going to be sharing with you again. If you subscribe to my channel, I'm going to be sharing with you entrepreneurship. We're going to be just discussing mindset. We're going to be discussing business ideas, tips, tricks, all of the things that I've learned over the years of being an entrepreneur and being able to leave someone else's job, stop working for someone else and be able to work for myself. I am a single mom of two. If I can do it, anyone can do it. So I'll see you again in another video. Stay inspired and stay blessed.